Jay Sean, with this being your last homecoming, um, you guys getting that good start. How disappointing was it to kind of help things kind of unravel there for you guys? Um, it is very disappointing. I mean, you know, this is not what we expected. This isn't what we planned for. And like, and I know my team. You know, I know we're a lot better than that. You know, but I mean, when you come out and you don't start off hot and you don't execute on the things that we're supposed to execute on, like that's what happens. So, but I don't doubt my team at all. We'll bounce back. Coach Petrino said you said, you said you guys kind of lost lost the fight that you guys were playing with last week at UNLV. What, what do you kind of credit that to? Not, not really fight, fighting for four quarters like you did last week. Um, I just think it's just when big plays happen or we give up big plays or make mistakes, we just got to learn how to bounce back from it. Um, a lot of times, I mean, like you see guys, we just hang our heads and you know, like, like I said, I know we're better than that. We just got to learn from our mistakes and just bounce back from that and capitalize on everything next week. Buck, the wide receiving core, tight ends had some drops today. Keep on key plays. What? How how tough was that to see? I mean, what do you what do you attribute kind of some of those those breakdowns to? I mean, drops happen. It's it's unfortunate. You don't want them, um, but you just got to bounce back and, and go to the next play. You got to forget about it. You know, if you dwell on the past on a drop, you're just gonna play worse. So, um, you know, it's, it's it's tough, but you know, it's part of the game. So you just gotta you know bounce back. How good was it? I mean, they came in with the most interceptions in the country, and, and def- I mean, pretty legit secondary and defense. What what did you see out there? Yeah, they're they're a really good team. Um, got a good secondary, all around really good defense. Um, there's a reason why they're you know first in, in interceptions and very high in uh, defense statistical categories. Um, uh, they got a lot of speed, uh, athleticism, and. Um, we, we saw that today, but I think we definitely could have played a lot better. And it, you know, if we play the way I think that we can play, I think that that game's going into the fourth quarter. Mm-hmm. Jay Sean, can you explain the, the breakdown on, on the first play of the second half that, that allowed them to, to score that long touchdown? Um, I think it was just a miscommunication. I mean, all around. I mean, you know, like we just we didn't get our calls, our checks we needed to. Um, you know, I saw. Obviously, I mean, when we don't get that, guys aren't in the place that they're, they're supposed to be, and big plays happen. So I, I really credit that to just miscommunication. That's really all that was. Buck, especially early on, you, you, you drive all the way down inside their five-yard line. How, how do you guys need to figure it out to, to kind of finish off drives? Because, you know, if you put up seven on the board, that, that can change the dyma- dynamic of a game can get the defense a little bit more fired up instead of just, you know, settling for field goals time and time again. Yeah, I think that's definitely um, one area that we definitely need to improve on is is not settling for field goals and getting touchdowns, you know. Getting seven instead of three is, is huge. So um, that's definitely something we're going to have to work on in practice and get better at and, and execute better uh, in the red zone and so we can, we can get more points and help the defense out for sure. Okay. All right. Thanks, fellas. Is that my seat? Yeah. I sat there just a few minutes ago and I, I felt it. <laughs> <laughs> Anything for 20? Uh, C- Coach Petrini said, said you guys kind of lost the fight that you guys had last week at UNLV that kind of led, led to that one. What, what do you kind of credit that to and, and when do you think you guys lost that in, the, in this game today? Um, uh, it's hard to say there, that there was just one point where we kind of went downhill. Um, it's tough to say. A lot, a lot of things lead up to. Um, it's not just one or two plays, but um, there's always there. There, Coach P's right. Uh, there's a, there's always a, a point in the game where you know there's a you're at a crossroad and it's either fight through it or you know basically just not really get not really care too much. Seemed like you guys kind of came out of the locker room fired up. Then first play of the second half, they hit that long touchdown. Did that kind of you know, bring the demeanor down a little bit? Um, yeah, like I said, it's not it's not just one or two plays. Um, it's here and there. There's always like there's probably going to be like six plays, and we all know that that's going to determine the game. Um, but uh, yeah, we were fired up, but it was just a miscommunication. Uh, well, as as the defense, we got to get that fixed and come out uh, more ready to play. What can you do to fix the opportunities when you have? Third down, got to get off the field, and, and, and there's a lot of missed tackles today. Yeah. And, and what can you do to fix that in practice? Really, it's just uh, t- 
tackling is a mentality, um, and we all knew that. We all we all knew uh, coming into the game that we're gonna have to we're gonna have to tackle in, in order to get to get off the field. And um, you know we struggled with that uh, today, and just worked on it in, in practice and making sure you know guys are ready to come out and you know lay the hat or you know everybody running to the ball. And it, it shouldn't take half our team to to bring someone down. You know what I mean. Um, but we just we definitely got to work at that as a defense and home. You guys didn't get a whole lot of pressure on Silvers, but when you were able to, it felt like he was able to just dump it out, safety valve kind of thing. Where does that does that get a bit frustrating when you're actually going to get some pressure and you just can't get to him? Yeah, um, that too is uh, it is frustrating. But we as a D line, we got to help out. Um, you know the guys in the back who's covering for us. Um, you know, we just got to be able to take it to take it to um, take it to the offense. You know, our opponent's offense. Every time we get an opportunity, and when we don't, uh, you know, big plays will happen. So us as a defensive line, we just got to you know buckle down, and when the opportunities come, we got to make sure we make them. Big picture, you guys. I mean, like Coach Petrino said, you guys goals are all there for you guys to achieve. Is that you got to kind of keep that in mind going at it? Today. Oh yeah, for sure. This game's this game's over and done with. We got to watch film and you know make a lot of corrections, um, obviously. But I mean, uh, yeah, we we I, I still believe in every single that we can reach every single one of our goals. We just gotta make sure we we come come ready to play every single game. We're good. All right, thanks, Tony. Thank you. Appreciate you guys.